you did it in Tenorio, I think Coach Chosres would have gone ballistic. Small man scooting in for an easy layup. But that's a commanding 18 point lead now enjoyed by Alaska. Here's Reyes. Outside De Ocampo. De Ocampo for a three, short. Ryan Reyes secures the offensive rebound. Alapag. Almost loses the ball. Ball stays with a throw of Texters and they have time to work with. Here's Castro. One and one against De La Cruz. Shot locked down to 10. Castro still has the ball on the right side. Castro makes his move. Goes inside. Layup won't work. And Baggio clears the loose ball. Now that has to be very exasperating. Get away for a layup and you miss the move. And Seven. I guess... I guess, Nico, that's because that interior defense is making Talking Tex change his shots. And that time, kit for tap, interior defense of an Talking Tex. Blocking that here, shot. Here's Alapag, Alapag. There's a foul given up by Tenorio. Already the fourth personal against Tenorio. And we check our uh, the court slam dunk. By Joe DeVance. So 30 second timeout muna tayo. Brought to you by Handy Fix. So first aid ng bahay mo. Bonds all and uh, seals all. Walking text. Uh, still looking at this big deficit. And still wondering how they can bounce back here in this ball game. I think it's important that they establish their defensive posture on the other end that offense is just gonna flow but they need to make some stops Alaska is just scoring baskets too easily and they need to be challenged the talking text I think that's that's what coach short Reyes is talking about here in this timeout he wants to challenge his boys to play tougher defense and make Alaska work extra hard for every shot that, that it gets no open looks no easy shots force it to take the outside shots but when you do make sure that there's a hand on the face of every alaska shooter well, once again we're going into a 30 second timeout brought to you by handy fix and first aid and bahay mo bonds all and seals all nakaabak na po sa finals and san miguel beerman naghihintay na lamang ng kalaban it will either be talking text or alaska at this juncture the aces are looking good on top 59 41 and they've, they've dictated the tempo from the get-go. Mula, mula, jump ball, mula, simula ng laro. The Aces have been the more aggressive and definitely the more productive team. You know, everything stems from the play of Diamond Simpson. When he works that triangle and establishes position at the post, who can stop him? If you double him, he knows how to pass. And we saw in our halftime analysis that he already had five assists at the turn. This is one thing that you can expect from Ryan Reyes. Every time he has that ball and he puts his head down, he will go strong to the basket. He's got a huge heart. I mean, Ryan Reyes, you want this kid in every team you have. A player like him who plays his guts out, not afraid to challenge the big guns from underneath. And he'll always give you a good all-around game. He can score, he can rebound, he can make the play. At well, that time, Joe DeVance scooting in and uh, two free throws here for Joe DeVance. As we near the halfway mark of the third quarter. And here's the thing that makes Alaska so dangerous because they've become a very unpredictable team. We mentioned earlier that when they're predictable, nababasa ng depensa kung saan mapupunta yung bola. And that's what happens when Diamond Simpson becomes almost the exclusive option in offense. But this time, Alaska recognizing that the full court press and talking text, Joe DeVance just taking it all the way strong to the hole. He's a guy, he's a big guy who could put the ball on the floor. And he's rewarded with two free throws. Fourteen big points for Joe DeVance, pareho sila ni Diamond Simpson. Combining for 28 points here in Game 7. Nice drop pass for uh, Sean Daniels. Ryan Reyes making things happen here. 
And you know, he attracts the defense because you know he's a very good finisher from up close. And that's why he was able to get that ball in the hands of Sean Daniels because the defense nakatuntok sa kanya, he's a potential threat from underneath. That's Ryan Reyes because he's so strong and he can get good inside position. Nakangalahatin na tayo dito sa third quarter and the Vans with a high looper Ball ends up with Jason Castro. Here's Alapag against Ponacer. Alapag fires a three. Yes, sir! And that's, that's a player who's not going to give up. Just like Ryan Reyes. You know, he's going to get married in about two and a half weeks from now. Well, Jay Moreno. Punisher, he's been posting up Jimmy Alapag since the start of this game. At least since the start of their matchup here in Game 7. Of course, pound for pound, Jimmy can actually be one of the strongest players in the league. Oh, a nice spin by Baguio. But he fails to connect. And there's some pushing near the basket. And it will go against Alaska. Now here's talking text rally. This lead has been chopped down from 18 to 13. They've got possession. They've been able to make some stops, force Alaska to make some mistakes in their execution. The foul, by Red. the way, was against Simpson in second. Yeah, Ryan Reyes is keying this charge, this comeback by uh, Talking Text. Here's Jimmy. Five minutes to go in the third. Alapag against Monashir. Alapag. Reyes. Ryan Reyes on the move, drop pass, Daniels, that's good. And Reyes again, with a dribble drive and the dish. Coach Chot Reyes, very comfortable with his three-card combination, playing Jason and Jimmy and Ryan Reyes together. Sean Daniels with 15 points and 10 rebounds, and we'll be back after this timeout. Five minutes to go in the third, talk in text. Determined to bounce back here in Game 7. Trailing by as many as 18 points. Right now, it's just an 11-point lead para sa Alaska. Here's Simpson. Forcing one up. And Castro is cut loose. Castro steps on the brakes. Kelly Williams, offensive foul. Oh, coach Ross, Chuck Reyes, showing his frustration. That would have been a big basket for Talking Text to Pumasok yun. Instead, a turnover. And the Aces slow things down with 4 and 21 remaining deep as the third quarter. Want to share to Baguio. Baguio against Castro. Baguio with a height advantage here. And he'll make his move. He finds De La Cruz. De La Cruz running shot straight into the hands of Alapag. You see that Alaska is not struggling because L.A. Tenorio is not on the floor. He makes a difference. But Tenorio is on the floor. You know there's good execution. You know that ball is going to move around. Look out! Look out! Yes, yes sir! Jimmy Alapag with a three! And now you see the big comeback of Talking Tex. The lead is down, down to just eight. That was once 18. Alaska is now going to feel the pressure. Tenorio is still sitting down. Larry Fonacher is calling the shots now in the backcourt at point guard for Alaska. Tenorio has four personal fouls. And here's the dance to the right side. Fonacher, nine to shoot. Fonacher, De La Cruz, a setup job. Antonio De La Cruz connects. Big shot, clutch shot there by Tony De La Cruz. Oh, nice pass. The bullet pass. Jimmy Alapak to Sean Daniels. And Daniels responding to the challenge with 17 points. Alaska now going to its check. You see Sean Daniels, he's getting a lot of passes, zip passes. He's scoring inside. He's not taking jump shots, but he's doing what he has to do to get the points. Well, that is just great defense by Daniels. Using his incredible ball to stop that play. Here's Alapak. Simpson has not scored in this quarter. And here's Castro. Castro, oh, hesitated. And still got the ball. Ryan Reyes attacks. And Reyes is fouled. That's a hack. Simpson with a foul. 
That will be number three on Diamond Simpson. His game has sputtered here. Simpson only with 14 points. Scoreless in the third period so far. He's gone cold. Ryan Reyes has made a big difference here. Has missed a couple of games in the series. Playing hurt tonight, but this is a game seven. And in game sevens, you forget about the hurt, you forget about the pain. It's all about winning this game and uh, possibly advancing to the title series. And the run continues. It's just a six point game. 63 57 para sa Alaska. And slowly back, uh, but surely that lead is vanishing for the Aces. Under three minutes to go in the third. Ugnatan has the ball. One and one against Kelly Williams. One hander blocked. Blocked by Williams. It is Alapag. Alapag. Stutter step. Castro. Back to Alapag. Shot locked down to 14. As we near the last two minutes of the third. Pocket text bench on their feet. Shot locked down to six. Castro fires. No. Daniels offensive rebound and Jimmy with a pull up. Can't get it off the glass. It is Seidel's Baggio. They set up Ugnatan at the post. Remember, he was blocked earlier by Kelly Williams. And Ugnatan sends it cross court. Baggio fakes, fires, in and out. Kelly Williams with a rebound and Castro is on the move. Here's Ryan Reyes. Drop pass. Castro. And loose ball. Reyes dives for it. But it will go to Alaska. And fantastic scintillating action here in the third quarter. What an effort on the part of Ryan Reyes. Try to save that loose ball. Players diving for that leather. Watch it right here. Look at the effort on the part of Ryan Reyes. Try to keep that ball alive. That's what heart is all about. That's what game sevens are all about. Here's Simpson. Got to shoot para sa Alaska. Again, the offense starts for Mugnatan. Outside Baguio. Back to Mugnatan. Mugnatan with a drop step. He lost the ball. And Cardona completes the steal. Here's Alapag on the right side. Jimmy finds Cardona. Cardona on the move, all the way blocked, but he was fouled. Nice aggressive move on the part of Mark Mark Cardona. You know, in the last two offensive sets of Alaska, they've been going to Reyna Hugnatan at the post, but it's Kelly Williams on top of him. Kelly Williams is too good a defender for Reyna Hugnatan to go up against. Rather than Hugnatan, you would expect Simpson to be posting up. Here's a power move brought to you by Dirty Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka nasa Llamado. Happening uh, earlier with Ranadel de Ocampo. And we swing back to live action. Mac Cardona missed his first free throw. They are down by six points with one minute to go in the third. And he gets a split. Mac Cardona with eight points here in game seven. Only had two points in game number six. L.A. Tenorio back on the floor with less than a minute to go here in this quarter. I guess King Cole realizing that they need this basket to stem the tide. Here's Tenorio. Shot locked down to six. L.A. sent back in the game with four personal fouls. Tenorio pull up. Oh, air ball. So time winding down here in the third. And Castro uncontested. And I would consider that a transition basket. But again, leaving the extra pass, the unselfish play. Talking text now in the groove. They've got the rhythm flowing. You know, the first half was all Alaska. They led by as many as 15. In fact, they led by 12 at the end of the first quarter. Led by as many as 15 in the second quarter. But here in the third, Alapag, Castro, Williams, Cardona, all conniving to bring Talking Text back in this game. And cer certainly, you do not uh, finish number one in the elimination round. 
and just and just lie and die in a game seven. Well, Nico, I thought Alaska lost the 